Hello, I'm Zardis, and let's play Planet Zoo. Welcome back to Cedar Creek. Today, we are going to build a restaurant because our guests are hungry and thirsty. We actually need to focus for a bit on getting our guest needs improved. They're not very happy right now. So what we want to do is uh, we could actually real quick, we could put uh, benches throughout the park, which we do need to do that soon. But right now, I really want to focus on getting a restaurant in place. So we're going to come to facilities and get a restaurant. And that we can go ahead and we'll put it. Actually, I want to rotate it, I think. And we'll get it over. We'll put it like this. And then we're going to have a door over here. So we need to get a path in there, first of all. And then we can build around it. We'll go ahead and build an actually let's have Yeah, let's just go ahead and do that. We don't want the curbs in there though. Because that'll be inside. And in fact, let's go ahead and align that to the grid. Just for a little bit. We'll get that in there. And then I wonder if we could get a little bit of a few other shops in here too. We're like seating back over in here. Yeah, probably seating. Let's do that. We'll go ahead and have this, and then we'll have another entrance over here. So now we'll come off of the grid, and we'll get the path right here and right here. So now we want to come in and build around that. So I'm going to go ahead and find a wall. And let's see, what are we near? We're near... These are the Arctic foxes. So we could do like an Arctic wood and the Himalayan. Yeah, let's go ahead and do Arctic wood here. So we're going to go with the wall and yeah, select that group. And we'll go ahead and do this. And then we'll get, we'll put windows there. But for now, we're just going to go ahead and get the wall in there. I'm going to build it around and then I'll catch you on the other side. Okay, so I got the outer wall in. And before I put a roof on, I decided I'm going to come back and we're also going to box this in so that that is hidden from the guests. And we'll also get a wall here so they can't see into the kitchen. Although maybe what we'll do is we'll put a shop window here. And then we can get an archway. Do we have an, an actual archway? I don't think we do. So we'll have to do a door there if we want. I wonder, we could get this here. And then I could build a little framing around that as well. Or even, no, that's too big. Yeah, I'm gonna have to build a little frame there. But that kind of gets that surrounded in there. And then what we can do is, I want then the, the roof is gonna go up pretty high. So I don't want the four meter one though, because I think that'll be too high. But what we will do is we'll get the two meter and we'll go like this. And then it'll have a nice big archway in the center. We're like, not an archway, but like a an open space there. Then we want the gable double pitch. So that kind of gets it up steeper where we can do the one meter I like that yeah so that'll be a really simple restaurant we can get some windows in there some lighting we'll get the door there and a door over there so there's two doors a good spot to uh, sit and eat and I'll go ahead and get some more of the walls here all right, the walls are all in place. We're going to go ahead and get some doors now, and then we'll get some Arctic windows too. But I want a line to surface so that we can get this in the right spot. About there. And about there, just to make it look like they're walking through an actual door. And I wonder, can we come... Uh, I don't want an actual door there, actually. So we're going to come back and we'll get some windows in here. Those are so tiny. Yeah, these are such tiny windows. I think we need a different window, actually. Classic window, maybe. A curved one, yeah. Let's do that, and then I'm gonna change the color. The stone can be like a brownish or like an orangey. 
That's a little too light. Let's find a darker version of that. Okay, so I picked out a color that I think is relatively close to the, the coloring of the building. And we're just coming in here and getting some extra windows in place. Come up here and get like one more set kind of in the center here. And I feel like these are uneven. We're going to come back here and move these two over a little more. Maybe about there. Okay, and then we're going to grab all of these and duplicate them and put them on the other side. Of course, we need to turn them around, so we're going to do angle snap, hit Eps again, and then turn them around all the way. Turn off angle snap, come back in here like that. So we've got windows there. And we could get some more windows on the side here. I'm going to go ahead and bring these over like that. Turn the angle snap back on and rotate them. Now they should be on the right angle for this. We'll get them on this side of the building. And control Eps will duplicate them. We can go ahead and just get some all the way across here. Yeah, very nice. And then we'll just get these duplicated actually the other side. We'll leave the other side open. So now on the inside here, what I want to do is actually we're going to build. Do I want the wall all the way up? I don't think I do. I want that open. And then what we'll do is we'll get some lighting in here. So we want lights. We're going to find a good light here. Do we have an Arctic light at all? Especially here. Hanging lights. Arctic festive snow fight. Uh, snow. No. I don't want any of those. We'll just get some classic wall lights, I guess. We'll put them up here. And get them duplicated every so often. Out there that gives us a little bit of lighting and then i think we could probably get the same thing on the other side here i wish that i had done this before i put the roof on but anyway i'm gonna go ahead and get some more lights in okay we've got the lights in now we're getting some benches in here i want yeah we'll go ahead with the arctic picnic bench and we're gonna get like a whole line of them along here so that we have plenty, uh, you know, yeah, that doesn't duplicate. So we have to do this by hand and try to get them as close as we can to like equal spacing. Oh, that worked out well. And then we can get a little bit more on this side. So now they've got a place to eat. They've got doors to go through. I mean, you can't see the door on this side. Let's go ahead and duplicate these then. Yeah, I want to edit that group and then click these. Control Eps. Move them into the building. And then we want to angle snap and rotate. And then move them back. So we've got doors they can clearly get out of and then we've got this over here the one thing we didn't do is build a restroom so what we should do is we should probably get a restroom somewhere on the outside or like over here let's go ahead and go back to facilities let's go to uh, guest facilities restroom we don't have an arctic style we haven't really researched a lot of stuff yet so what I'm going to do is maybe take these two windows out and we're going to come in and we'll just put a toilet block right here. And then I'm going to add it to the building. Yeah, that'll be fine. And then we can do just a little bit of construction to make it look a little bit better. Okay, so I've done a little bit of decoration here too. I'm going to actually 
tweak this sign right here bring it down just a tiny bit there now that I put the eve up but anyway so we've got this working we're gonna go ahead and unpause and then that should help our food situation let's go ahead and get a little bit of stuff in here too in terms of uh landscaping we want temperate in North America because we are outside and kind of in a like general open area let's go ahead and make it a little bit fancy though and actually I want no I don't want the curve I, I was about to say I want some curbs there but I think what we'll do instead is we'll just have the azaleas right up against here yeah and then that can just kind of hide the fact that we don't have a curb there and then we can just get some simple arrowwood bushes here it's the wrong button very simple landscaping again what i like to do is just have simple stuff that really fills the area but obviously would not take a lot of landscaping uh like maintenance i want more flowers in here like no we don't have a lot of flower options i guess it's the nettle i mean i guess that's okay that can come in here just kind of fill that space a little bit too a little bit more greenery in there let's go ahead and get another tree over here like a holly tree yeah that's beautiful there and then just kind of duplicate this as well just kind of fill this space a little bit so that anybody walking by sees that it looks kind of landscaped back in there but we don't want anything sticking through the, the building so that's one problem that we want to be careful with but that should work i mean we've got a lot there we could then bring another path over here just for fun i wish we could get the path off there but I think what we'll do instead is we're going to move this. Move it over to this side. And then we can get a path to continue this way. Yeah, like that. And this is just a general maintenance path. And that can head over to our building, I think might be able to get a door there actually although no the i was gonna say right to the kitchen but i think what we'll do instead is we'll just bring this over here and we'll get a staff path there so that no guests actually come this way and then we'll put a fake door there like we had on the other side so we want this and we want this one and we're just gonna put that over here the zoo has had a lot of inbreeding and I'm not too concerned about that I mean it will lead to some genetic issues but again I'm not super concerned that it'll be a big deal then so that should help with a little bit of our food. What I want to do is let's get some vending machines in too, because we do have vending machines available. We can go ahead and get like a gulpy vending machine somewhere that we have just a little bit of space, like right here. And we'll get another one. Let's see, that's on that path got a restaurant there now I actually don't think we need too much of this we could get another let's get another gulpy in here actually like a full size and we'll get a chief beef too terrain modif ah, I hate that it does that like all the time put that there and then we'll come in and get a food stall we've got planet zoo food shop sure it's the really simple chief beef beautiful it's like they're the same building that can help with a little bit of stuff in there we can come in and get some more nature in here too bald cypress is probably too big 
Yeah, but beautiful tree, but just a little too big. Same with the redwood. Ash is... Uh, I mean, that might work there. Let me figure it out. There we go. So I just kind of filled, or like, built a, a screen type thing and then just kind of filled back in there. So now I want to come in and we're going to get benches because we really don't have many benches. What I do want here is we'll get a simple picnic table here. Yeah, like the, uh, no, we'll get a, yeah, a simple one. We're a couple of them. Let's turn it this way and then we can get maybe two picnic tables here. Can give them canopies as well. There, so now we've got a little bit of picnicking in that spot. We do want to get some bins in before we forget. A nice classic bin here. And we've got one over there already. It's actually not the one we're using in a lot of spots. But we'll get those there and hopefully that will prevent some of that trash. And then we can come in and we're just going to go ahead and get a lot of New World benches added throughout the park now. Okay, so I've gone in, I've added some benches. Not, I mean, a lot, I'd say. Uh, not everywhere, but it should be good. Let's go ahead and check on our restaurant, though, and see if anybody is in here. Nobody's in here right now. It's a useless restaurant, but actually, it, oh, here, we want to link tables. Tables, link tables. Can we not do this? Huh, okay, hang on, let me figure, figure this out. Okay, yeah, I, I placed the tables. You have to use the special tables for restaurants, and I had forgotten about that. But now we have a lot of stuff. I mean, it's not really Arctic fair, but it will work. We have a relatively okay scenery rating. Guests are going to be happy. We have a staff person on that, and we're going to let that be in just a, a general work zone so that the staff can go wherever they want. But look at that. We've got a whole bunch of stuff here. They have to... Look at that, they like walk through here into nothing. But then they end up in the chairs. Wow, what a way to set this up. So that is interesting. Maybe we should have done this a different way, but it'll work okay. I wanted it the, the way that we designed it, even if it doesn't functionally look about right, but it's going to work. It's going to help with that food. So will the new restaurants over here our new little shops that we've got and as well as the vending machine that is going to be useful too that is all going to help that guest uh rating and stuff like that let's go ahead and we're going to just check on our animals really quick so these ones are low on social what are you mad about gazelles stress you're trying to hide okay i'm not too worried about that you can figure out how to hide on your own same thing there. What I care about more is overcrowding, but I think that all looks fine. It's really just them that are hiding. And then the, the lemurs, at some point we're going to need a new lemur exhibit. But let's go ahead and see if there are any that are listed as outsiders. I don't think so. I think everybody's pretty happy right now. At some point, these garyols are going to grow up enough that we can get rid of them, which will be really great. And let's go by species, actually. Same with the tortoises. I'm anxious for some of these that are like 20 years old to be old enough that we can get rid of them because we'll get point, like a lot of points for those, I anticipate. Arctic foxes, we are okay. Yeah, I think... Everything is in okay shape right now. Just waiting for things to grow up enough. Lots of gharials. We've got a couple of juvenile Himalayan brown bears, which is cool. We just got that exhibit up and running. And then we've got a young adult uh, female lion as well, which is really nice. Let's go see our new baby bears here too 
Oh, look at that. They're so cute down in there. Nobody's over here looking. Oh, yep. We've got people there watching the beers from this side. So I'm pretty happy. I hope you are as well. Be sure to click on the video on the screen now. It will be one that you will enjoy. I guarantee it. Thanks for watching and I will catch you next time. Take care.